Hey, what's up? Bit Squat here. Just want to quickly show you what's in my book collection. You might see uh, behind me there's some books there. So I'll just show you what books I'm currently reading and some of the books that I've read. So check it out. Okay, so um, so I've got Robert Kiyosaki, uh, Spin Selling. So this is a really good book. Uh, Neil Rackman. So this is all about asking really good questions and determining the sale. So that's really good. Zig Ziglar, uh, Secrets of Closing the Sale. This is a, a classic book that has stood the test of time. Um, I won't go through all of them, but there's, as you can see, there's a lot of sales books. Uh, this one is um, One Funnel Way Challenge. So I did this um, I did this course by Russell Brunson. It's all about creating funnels and uh, try and, you know, um, generate as much money as possible. So as you can tell, I didn't really go through it that much, to be honest, but you live and you learn. Uh, so if you go some more, Tools of Titan, Tim Ferriss, so this one's a big book. I bought it, I didn't finish reading it because it's just too big, too much to go through, so that's how I lost interest. Uh, Jordan Belfort, this is an excellent book, uh, Way of the Wolf. Uh, this one is Gary Vee, I've got 21 Secrets of Billion Dollar Sellers. This is a really good book, I actually interviewed him. I interviewed Stephen Harville, so check out my podcast, you know, I go through it in pretty good detail there. So let's put this one back there. So, uh, Tony Robbins, One Money Master the Game. This book is not bad, so this book um, goes through a lot of stock investing tips. And Tony Robbins didn't exactly write the entire book, he actually got a lot of people to, to go through it. So this one, Mark Manson, the subtitle, Art of Not Giving an F. Um, you'll see this in bookstores pretty much everywhere. This book, Sell or Be Sold by Grant Cardone, Mr. Grant Cardone, the king of sales. Uh, this is a really good book, um, highly recommend this one. Check it out, Mr. Grant Cardone, fantastic book, love it. Okay, now check out these books. These books, so how to increase your website traffic, guess who wrote this? Mr. Quar Boys, I wrote this book a long time ago, several years ago in fact. And let me show you some other books that I've, that I've written. So I've written another book called Present With Power. So this is when I used to be a corporate trainer. And I wrote a book uh, just about that teaches you how to present with power. It's all a presentation book. Now I wrote this book a couple of years ago called Sky Island. This is my first ever novel I wrote called Sky Island. And uh, it's a really um, interesting story. I cannot believe I wrote this story, but I fully did it. It's amazing. Mark Andrews works as an accountant and lives a very normal life. One day his life is turned upside down where he loses his fiance, his job, his home and all his possessions. Mark encounters a caretaker who shares with him a valuable life lesson and guides him on a new path. Mark goes on a journey of self-discovery. He travels to Tibet, meets a wise man, who teaches him the secrets of the universe and importance of finding Sky Island. So that is apparently Sky Island, okay? I also wrote another book, Fallen on a Budget. So this is all about personal finance, what I learned about finance. Beginner's Guide to Managing Your Money. This is a book I wrote with Mr. Brian Tracy. You might have, you might know Brian Tracy. Brian Tracy right there. I wrote a book with him. I sure did. Right there. This is, to be honest, this is one of my favorite books I've ever written. It's called The Goal Setting Playbook. How to achieve big goals and transform your life. So I'm all about goals. And if I were to give a book to my son or my daughter, I'll give this book there. I'm planning on writing a sales book soon. So I'm going to be doing that real soon. And I also wrote another book called Getting Things Done Like a Boss. 10 Productivity Habits of High Achievers. And also wrote another one. Guess what? Sandra in the Balloon. So this is a children's book. I wrote this because I was really inspired by a girl named Sandra. I went to a children's hospital and um, she was really coping with uh, cancer. So, um, and unfortunately she died and then I dedicated this book to her. So Sandra in the Balloon. It's all about her journey in finding the balloon on top of a mountain. This book here, How to Stop Worrying and Start Living. This book, I read this several years ago and I still remember this book because, um, I don't know, but this is such an amazing book, How to Stop Worrying and Start Living. Uh, teaches you pretty much what it does, <laughs> how to stop worrying and start living. And um, it just, it really eliminates all your fears and everything. So I really love that book. Anyway, there's, there's so many other books. I've been through all of them. Traffic Secrets, 30 Days, um, Russell Bronson, how to master the art of selling and uh, some other books as well. Donald Trump, I'm gonna get rid of that crap. Um, 10X rule, platform closing, weekend millionaire, 
this whole bunch of cool stuff. All right. So that is my book collection. I hope you guys like it. You know, it's it's a small book collection there. Um, and to be honest, the uh, secret is I've traveled around the world and I've stayed in a lot of different places. And I have a book collection in Perth, a book collection in the Philippines, one in uh, and now in Sydney as well. So that's that's really amazing. I got I bought I got three libraries in three different areas around the world. So it's pretty amazing. But you know, I'll always um, continue reading. I'll always keep learning. And you know. It's, it's a, just a way in which to improve yourself. So uh, let me know how you guys go in the comments. Please let me know what books you're reading and uh, please send me a message. So I'll be keen to hear about the books that has really transformed your life. So thanks.